What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions at Studio12Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Now today we're going to go over time stretching. I got a question, um, somebody was asking me, uh, hey, can um, Studio One time stretch like Ableton Live? And of course it can. It's just... Um, it's just not set up like live where when you drag an audio file that is you know that is like the main feature it's um <clears throat> it's something that you have to um initialize and it's and it's not that hard to find so what i'm going to do is uh, let's let's use a let's use a break right so let's let's find a break beat Use this one. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drag this onto the arrange window. Now there's a couple, um, th th there's a couple different time stretching features, right? So you have, you have like basic time stretching, which is in. Let me just, uh, let me just get rid of this. You have basic time stretching, which is like your classic time stretch where you, um, you know, you, you'll, you'll chop a piece of the beat and then you know double it or triple it. Let me just demonstrate it here. So let's let, let's find a little loop. One, two, three, four. All right. So this kick right here—that's the first. That's the first piece of a new of a new loop, right? So we'll just go ahead and delete this. All right. So typically, like if it, you know, if you can count out a beat, you know, count your bars. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four. All right, so that that would be like a typical four bar loop. Um, so if I wanted to, if I wanted to go down into you know into straight time and make and make this a four bar loop to to match up with the tempo of my song, say I was trying to match this with a sample or something, a quick and easy way to do that is to just hold down Alt. You have to now remember you got you have the magic tool um, enabled. So depending on where you are in the region, you'll either have you'll either have the uh, the, the the cross tool or you have the arrow tool. You want to be in the bottom right hand corner and, and have the arrow tool now if you hold down alt you'll see that um a clock icon appears that it that that tells you that you've enabled time stretch mode so when you click and drag from this point the audio will stretch however you want it so you know we're looking for this four bar loop and if you have um you know if you have your grid snap enabled it'll snap straight to the grid so now we have a nice perfect loop And then you know, of course, you could you could go in. See, we have a bit of silence here, so we want to we want to get that, drag it back a little bit more, and we'll just restretch it. Boom. Okay, great. So now we have a perfect loop. Um, but you can get into a situation, and not only with not only with using breakbeats, this can be with the this can be with a sample, um, this can be with vocals, this can be with anything. Where you know you zoom in, especially if you're doing more like EDM or trap or anything that's like pop centric like that, where you see like okay. Um, you know, I'd like this to be a little bit more quantized, you know, this is this some of these, you know, some of these um, hits are happening, you know, really behind the beat, um, you know, and uh, 
you know, an older classic um, boom bap, this would be, you know, this would be considered swing. This is the, this is a great rhythm, but um, for some of today's stuff, this might not be desirable. So um, you would want to, you know, you'd want to quantize all that. So if you go up to this toolbar here, <clears throat> And you see, and you see this one next to the question mark. And also, sometimes it's good to enable this info view. That way, you can just hover over stuff, and this will, you know, it, it it tells you like what everything is. So you can kind of explore around without, you know, without anxiety. So if you just go ahead and uh, hit audio bend, and it tells you right here, open the audio bend pa panel, which gives you transient detection and audio manipulation functions to use with co audio content. You know, boom, right? You know, you know what you know what you want right here. So so you've got a uh, you've got some options here. You've got um first of all the first thing you want to notice um is is this box right here and it'll tell you um it gives you a couple options for time stretch, right? So if you so if you if it's percussion based if it's drum you're going to want to use you're going to want to use drums which is similar to uh to um to beat mode in Ableton if you have if 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 you have something that is like that's a full song you're going to want to use sound which is um which is similar to uh, complex pro inside ableton and then if you have something that's that's just a single track like a vocal or um or um you know a single instrument you're going to want to use um elastic pro uh monophonic format and that is you know similar to complex inside ableton right so obviously we're going to use drums right here you have you have a couple different actions here you can either quantize or slice um you can clicking this button will allow you to see the bend markers and then right here you have you have this where it says um where it's where it gives you two modes um to analyze right so when you click analyze it's going to it's that's what's going to give you your bend markers and with something with a lot of transients like um you know like a, like a drum break it's going to you know it's, it's going to work fairly well um you can adjust the threshold in you know in real time and it will you know and it will add and remove markers for you which um i think i think that this is my favorite part of studio one's version of time stretch because you can just kind of you can just kind of um click and click and hold and drag the mouse down and you know once you see because it, it can get pretty sensitive once you see those once you see those um those really tight like like this like this this right here you know that's uh you don't really you don't really need those two um those two markers now if using threshold doesn't give you uh, the effect that you want as far as getting rid of markers, you can go up here. All right, this is the uh, this is the bend tool. You press number seven, right? And the bend tool, um, you got to pay attention to when you hover over a region. But if you if you hold over it, you can you know you could click one. It'll turn yellow when you've selected it, and just press back, and it'll you know it'll get rid of itself. Now. Um, when you see it in this condition where it's just the marker if you click it's going to add a marker right however if you go over another one where it's selecting the marker you can click and hold and you can drag and you can you know drag these individual points on to the grid which is you know which is pretty dope um, let me just get rid of this guy right here another another way that you can another way that you can use these these points is if you just as if you just select this and you hit Control Q. No, I'm sorry, <laughs> not Command Q. There we go. You just hit Q. You see everything shifted. So now, so so, so now the whole thing is quantized. Let's speed this up so it doesn't sound so awkward. Now, if you zoom in, you see the hits. The hits are occurring more on the grid. You can you could take it another step, like this. Like this this kick right here is you know if if you don't enjoy the swing on that, if for some reason you want a more um, you want a more robotic loop, and you might ask like why would I want that? Why would I want to destroy this awesome classic breakbeat groove? Well, you might be you know wanting to layer this just for. Um, 
you know, just for the um, just for that extra sauce, the you know the analog vibe that comes on that comes on top over a set of quantized drums, which is you know something you might want to try. So instead of you know, so instead of having this obnoxious swing right here, you have something more you know something more on the grid. And that's and that's really all there is to the um, you know to to the time stretch. A couple things that you want to keep in mind is that if you um you know if when you stretch when you stretch these parameters, you want to make sure that you have you know it's it's gonna it's going to stretch in relation to these you know to these other ones too. So say I didn't have say I didn't have markers on on all these transients, and I wanted to you know and I wanted to pull this over here that is going that's going to affect everything you know everything up until the next bend marker right which is something which is something that could lead to being undesirable so another function that is within this menu is the slice function right so if you go ahead so if you go ahead and you and you select slice and let's see here I don't want to merge it. All right, and then you select, and then you select the the region, highlight it, and you select apply. It will now slice onto all those transients, and then you know this is a real quick, easy way to chop samples, or to or to chop breakbeats, and then you can go ahead and um, go to audio, and send to a new impact or send to a new sample one, and you'll have you know you'll have a kit. say you didn't want that say you didn't want that hi-hat it's real easy to fix and then like say this hi-hat this pad right here it's got it's got this you know that's a really nice hi-hat but it's got that uh you know it's got that kick underneath it you can just go ahead to this to this um select the to this pad select the high pass filter i'm surprised they don't have a steeper high pass filter whatever engage it And that's you know that's a quick way that you can make a kit um, and all you know all this is um, you know all this is right here don't be afraid to again turn on the help menu and explore around um, you know the interface in studio one because there's probably especially if you guys are new to the DAW um, there's a, there, there's a lot of stuff that is you know that's main that's like the main star of other DAWs that's kind of you know that's kind of uh, something that Presonus threw in there and it's actually done extremely well but it's not advertised as as a big strength and um, you wouldn't know it if you didn't go if you didn't go looking for it. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Production Studio One Tutorials.com. Keep it simple, but don't be basic. And we will see you on the next one.